To save some time, I actually went ahead and I created a list of print layers that we will be using throughout the course. Uh, and it's right here. So what we're going to do is just select all of it and then just paste it within our drawing. Um, so let's do this again, uh, command C, and then back to our drawing. And then here, I'm going to do command V to place it. And then I'll place it somewhere here. Um, and I'll give you a download link so you can get, download this one and use it for free for your project as well. We might add a couple more layers to this one because originally when I did this one, it was mainly for floor plan projects. But this one I'm expanding to also include the elevations like I mentioned. Um, but anyway, I'll show you the updated layers as well and we'll go with that. But first, the first thing I want to do is actually assign all the text elements to their correct layer. So let's select them real quick like this. There is actually a command called select similar. So I'll show you it. I'm just going to click escape. I'm going to select one of the text elements and then I'm going to right click with the mouse. And then here you will see there is something called select similar, which is right here. And it will highlight like all the text elements that I have like in the drawing. Fortunately, it will also select all of these ones that I have here, but I don't want these. So I'm just going to I think another way to do this is to actually just log the layers. So I think I lost the layers. Let me bring them back. Uh, so let's go to Windows and then Layers. And then from here, I'm just going to basically uh, lock the walls, doors, and windows. So now we have this list. And then here, this one, this one, walls, doors, windows. I'm, uh, I'm holding the Command button to be able to select multiple layers at the same time. And now I'm going to lock them. So now I can easily uh, select them. So, and I'm going to go ahead and select like this, and I'm just going to disregard uh, the dimensions and to take them out from the selection to deselect them, I'm going to hold the shift button. Uh, and when I hold the shift button, I'm able to deselect objects. So I just wanted to take out uh, the dimensions because they didn't get locked because they're still on the zero layer. Um, but everything else, although like the rest of the objects got selected, they're actually locked, so they won't be modified like the text. So now that I have that, now I'm going to switch the layer to the A text layer. And we're going to get this warning that some of the objects are on a locked layer and they won't be updated or modified, which is fine, which is what we wanted. Now you can see all the text is essentially on its own layer, minus this one. I'm going to match it. I'm going to match with the washer dryer note. And then here, and then just to make sure I think I lost the layers. We keep losing them. Okay, I'm just going to dock this to the right side because we're going to keep using it. And then I'm going to expand it down. And then just to make sure, I will just hide the layer. And it looks like everything is looking good. I'll show it again. I think this dimension set on the wrong layer. We'll just switch it to dimensions. 